Well, first of all, I believe that the topic of community is very important because I, I believe that we're wired for community. Whether it's a community of two, as in friends, parents and children, uh, spouses, I, I do believe that we're meant to be in community. That's how we grow. It's how we stay vibrant. Um, and it's how we contribute uh, to the world. Um, there are varieties of communities, uh, from a pair to um, a very large congregation or a community or neighborhood. Um, I happen to live in um, perhaps a, a very um, unusual community of um, all women. There are 19 of us. 16 of us presently live at uh, St. Benedict's Monastery. Um, and I've lived in that community for 51 years. Uh, prior to that, I lived in the community of students for two years. I was a resident, so that was kind of a community. But, of course, I've been part of a community all my life. I'd like to share with you some of what I um, experience and what I know of uh, the Benedictine monastic community, if that's okay with you. Uh, we come from um, a very long tradition, 1,500 years plus, uh, at, from the time that St. Benedict um, actually dropped out of college because of the Roman society decaying all around him. He took his Bible and himself and he went off to the hills of Italy and there he, uh, he thought about things for three years. And uh, his reputation grew um, without texting and Skyping and all of that. Somehow they found out about him. <laughs> and they found out that he was a holy man and uh, they thought, uh, well, let's join up with him because maybe we have some of the same goals. So um, that m small beginning um, spread throughout Europe and um, to North America in the 1800s and then in 1912 came to uh, Winnipeg. Well, we were established in Winnipeg in 1912, so we're just over 100 years old as an uh, independent community. And when we were founded in the province, we were founded for, the, for education and uh, Christian charity. And so the community served um, in education um, right from the beginning, especially to the German and Polish immigrants on Selkirk Avenue. So we were, you know, right with the... Um, right in the center of, of, of the city. Also, we began uh, building hospitals um, at that time we, in Russell and Bertel and Winnipegosis and um, Gimli, and uh, then the community moved to Arburg mm -hmm. to build a farm to house and feed the orphans that uh, were being left in the 1920s and 30s on their doorstep. So that's kind of uh, our history. At present, uh, we live, um, most of us, 16 out of the 19, live at St. Benedict's Monastery, where we, um, our, our main uh, work, regardless of what age it is, uh, is to live in community and um, to pray and to offer hospitality. Our means of hospi main means of hospitality right now is our retreat center where we welcome people to come and rest and uh, think and renew themselves, whether that's um, alone or with a guide. Um, we also offer programs that we hope meet the needs of, of people wanting to learn and grow. And we welcome groups, church, business, government groups, um, to do their own work, whether that's uh, spiritual work or business or organizational, etc. As a community, we, we have um, a few pillars, I would call them. One is stability. And by stability, we mean a kind of sticking together long enough to get to know ourselves and have people that we interact with on a daily basis rub the edges off our personality <laughs> <laughs> so that we keep growing. And that's uh, another pillar is the what we call conversion, and it's the daily willingness to be changed, uh, to keep on the journey, to keep growing 
and when those little edges are pointed out, to be willing to um, to have them rounded and softened and to be willing to be transformed. The other um, pillar is obedience. And it's not just doing what Mother Superior says. Actually, it's not even doing what Mother Superior says, much to her chagrin sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but it is basically listening. It's listening um, to uh, the Spirit of God, whether it's within our own hearts, urging us to do good, or listening to one another, uh, listening to the Word of God, mm-hmm. listening to the signs of the times. Mm-hmm. And um, that, that's the way in which we respond to Spirit of God moving us in the world. And so community is a, is a gift. It's a gift to me because it helps me to keep growing. And it's meant to be a gift to the world. It's never meant to be a navel-gazing or um, a marginalized group that thinks it's better than anybody else um, or holier. Um, or safe and comfortable. And so we always have to think about what are we meant to be in this world? What are we meant to do? Um, And sometimes it is simply prayer, because a lot of our members are now elderly, and that's what they do. They they might be sick, they suffer, and and they pray. And they are simply a a wise presence in the community. Others of us, um, you know, go out and, and meet the Meet the people that we work with, whether it's uh, somebody on retreat or somebody in, in a program or a student. We have a sister in Calgary teaching religious education. We have a sister who's 78 years old who nurses uh, at a personal care home in Russell, and she still loves it. And uh, we have a sister who uh, works at a personal care home in the north end of, of Winnipeg. So... Um, Along with community, I have to say that solitude is an important part of community because we can get worn out giving uh, and interacting, and we all need places and spaces and times when we um, can renew ourselves. Um, And I guess I speak as an introvert because that's really important to me, but I do think it's important for, um, for everyone to have a solitude. And so we have our own rooms, which wasn't always the case. Uh, We would share or live in a a dorm. But we need that solitude. Like Cahill Gabran says, there must be spaces in our togetherness. Mm -hmm. And I think that's good on Valentine's Day. (laughs) 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 We just can't take 100% of each other all the time. (laughs) So that's that's what I'd like to say to begin. (laughs) 